it comes to dry bean and field pea herbicides, what we're gonna equate this to is soybeans. We talk soybeans all the time here on the show, and whenever you hear us talk soybeans, just kind of keep in mind that these crops, dry beans and field peas, are pretty similar plants. So we're gonna talk about the specific herbicides you can and can't use in field peas and dry beans today. You know, the thing with broadleaf crops, Brian, is there just aren't that many post-emerge alternatives to clean up broadleaf weeds. So we've got to do a great job pre-emerge. And just like we talk about with soybeans, we'll say the same thing here. We've got to look at putting multiple effective modes of action out pre. Now in the case of field peas, we can do that with our standard three pre program that we use in soybeans with one little tweak. You can still use the yellows like trifluralin, sonalan, or prowl, but then for the PPO component, you can use Spartan. So where in soybeans, we would be talking about authority. In field peas, we'll talk about Spartan. They're the same active ingredient. And then the other thing in field peas is you can use Metribuzin, which adds a lot of punch on some of these broadleaf weeds. When it comes to dry beans, it's almost identical with the exception of this. You can't use Metribuzin. You can still use the yellow. You can still use Spartan but you just can't use the Metribuzin. Metribuzin is too hard on dry beans. So when we compare this to soybeans, again, we talk about three pre's all the time. That's yellow, Metribuzin, and a PPO. The only difference, Darren mentioned authority, but I also wanna throw in here Valor. You can't use Valor in dry beans or field peas, unless some labeling has all of a sudden changed this spring that we're not aware of. Well, the reason this is so important is we can wipe out a lot of those small seeded broad leaves early. Now that leaves the large seeded broadleaves, and maybe you've got some cockleburrs, or maybe you've got sunflowers or, or other weeds that we need to address post-emerge. Our options here are a little bit limited. For example, in field peas, you could use Bassagran, or better yet, you could use Varisto, so you've got that combination of the active ingredient in Raptor or Beyond, and you've got the active ingredient from Bassagran. So you got two different effective modes of action here on many of these weeds. Now the key here with Bassagran, it likes hot and humid weather in order for weed control to be optimized. So we want to look for days where we get 150 points between temperature and humidity. So 80% Humidity, well, you'd only need a 70 degree day to really get pretty good activity, but you can run the math on this. Sometimes it might be an 85 degree day and a 65% humidity that you look for. Whatever it is in your area, if we can get 150 points, that's where it works the best. Now, if you don't get that, you can still get it to work. It's just gonna be a little bit tougher. So make sure you're doing everything right, like using plenty of gallons of water, small enough droplets to get good coverage, uh, and run your sprayer slow enough that you're not just blowing through the field and missing some weeds. When it comes to dry beans, you got the same choices. You can use Bassagran or you can use Raptor and Pursuit, Raptor, basically the same thing. So either one of those is fine. But in addition with dry beans, you can also use Reflex. So that's real similar to Flexstar that we talk about all the time in soybeans. That has some residual, it has some good activity on some small seeded broad leaves and a few large seeded broad leaves, but you wanna make sure that those weeds are small. The last thing that I'll throw in is Clethodum, or there are some other grass killers that are labeled too for both field peas and dry beans. Remember, these are broadleaf crops, so it's pretty easy to control the grass. You start with a yellow, you follow with the clethodim. Uh, you shouldn't have grass issues, you shouldn't have volunteer corn issues or anything like that. Our biggest concern, again, like Darren said, is really those broadleaf weeds. So that's why we would strongly encourage you, use as much and as high a rate as you possibly can pre-emerge so you don't have so many weeds coming post. These are crops that can be potentially very profitable for your farm, but the big thing here is you need to have yield. If you've got weed control issues, you will lose yield fast with field peas and dry beans. Well, unfortunately, all the herbicides that we mentioned that are labeled in field peas and dry beans are not very effective on our Weed of the Week, but we'll tell you what is coming up next. <music> 